Up to now, tales of phone hacking and private investigators have been about the newspapers. No longer. Now we know that the serious organised crime agency has 102 new names, none of them papers, who may have used private investigators illegally. The list includes 22 law firms, 10 insurance companies, 8 financial service companies and 2 celebrities. So far, none of the names have been made public. But they were given to a committee of MPs. But because there may be further investigations, the committees agreed not to publish them for now. Some of the information we received on the committee showed that they were getting the most personal details from people. Why would they want all this information? I think that's the next stage. And what's clear is that there is still a lot of work to be done by Parliament. And this time, we intend to see it to the end. Two years ago, the former deputy editor of the News of the World was arrested by police and told he must have known about phone hacking. But no charges were ever brought against Neil Wallace, and now, he says, there's a double standard at work. They raided my house at six o'clock in the morning, they locked me in a prison cell, in a jail cell, and they did that to me for a that amount of time. What is the difference between me, who apparently you must have known, and the executive from a law firm who paid the bills to a private investigator. Today the Home Secretary announced she was setting up an official register for private investigators. Those who don't sign up face fines or even six months in prison. And the other half of the coalition told us that the police should be following up any allegations of illegal use of private investigators. Of course there's just outright illegality, which of course the police need to pursue and they should pursue outright illegality wherever they find it whether it's in the, in the press or in the private sector or in the, wherever, of course. Whatever is illegal is illegal. But for now, there have been no charges in the case of the 102 names and their identities remain secret. <laughs>